Hi, this is Steve, V6WZ. In this video, I'm going to show how anyone can test their transmit antenna for front-to-back performance and even make an azimuth pattern plot to compare to modeling. You don't need any field test equipment or signal sources. Let's get started. All you need is a PC sitting beside your radio. We're going to use what's called the S-meter extension that is available on most of the very ubiquitous Web SDR Kiwi radios located around the world. In your browser, navigate to KiwiSDR.com or just Google Kiwi SDR. In the upper left corner, click Kiwi SDR Map. Zoom into the map by scrolling your mouse wheel to somewhere close to your QTH or whatever direction has a radio that suits your needs. Click a bubble and open the Kiwi radio. Click start and the radio will open up. All of the radios will look the same like this. In the bottom right is the control panel. We can key in a frequency, let's say 1835 kilohertz or whatever you want. The plus and minus buttons here zoom the frequency span in and out. The mode selection is along the top here. I select CW for this test because the narrow bandwidth helps minimize noise. Now, notice on the upper right side of the control panel, we can select different extensions with this pull-down menu. Near the bottom, select the S-meter extension. Notice the S-meter display begins to scroll at the top. In the bottom left corner, we can adjust the speed of the display and the scale, both max and minimum limits. So, pick a band and frequency for the antenna you want to test. Here I am on 160 meters, 1822 kilohertz. This Kiwi radio is in Prince George, British Columbia, almost perfectly in line with my 160 meter transmit array for doing a front to back test. I transmit a CW signal and check that the carrier is stable. Now, you can see as I switch directions on the array. In this example, I probably should have expanded the scale to better re for better resolution, but it looks like around 10 dB front to back, which is exactly what my model says it should be for this two element vertical array. Here I pick a Kiwi radio in Iceland to test my two element 40 meter Yagi. My homebrew Yagi design can switch 180 degrees instantly with relays at the feed point, so it makes it quick and easy with no need to rotate the Yagi. Here you can really see the ionospheric instability on this transpolar path. However, with the S-meter plot, I can average perhaps minus 95 dB forward strength and about minus 112 dB off the back of the Yagi, so about 17 dB front to back, close to my model. Here is a Brisbane Kiwi with my signal on 40 meters, and you can see how the rapid QSB makes this a very poor choice for a test. And here, from a Kiwi in Hawaii, we see very similar rapid variability. These are examples where trying to test RX antennas by switching back and forth can be confusing. These peaks and dips are just too rapid. Unfortunately, on the low bands in particular, this rapid QSB and instability is very common. However, there will be days when conditions are more stable and good measurements can be achieved. It just takes patience. On the higher bands, long-range DX tests might be easier at the right time of day. Be very cautious about using a local Kiwi during certain times of the day. Here is my 80 meter Yagi front to back test during a daytime path on a Kiwi radio about 100 kilometers away. Now I know the front to back pattern on my 80 meter Yagi. But on this short haul skywave path, at certain times, I see that my front to back is almost nothing. My signal is probably bouncing off the ionosphere at a very high angle. Heck, maybe it's even bouncing off the D layer. My modeling confirms a very diminished front to back at high wave angles. You could do similar tests comparing horizontal versus vertical antennas on local and DX paths. Is the vertical better than the dipole on the DX path? Why not rotate your Yagi and take numerous readings at 15 to 30 degree stops and plot it up on a polar plot? 
Is your Yagi performing to expectations? Maybe make a polar plot of your Yagi across the band at different frequencies. What is my front to back at the bottom of the band compared to the top of the band? First of all, pick a Kiwi where you have a good, stable signal. If the signal is wobbling around, don't proceed. Perhaps try another Kiwi, or another time of day, or another day altogether. Record your absolute dB values at each 15 or 30 degree stop, or whatever you want, and record them. Obviously, the highest value will be 0 dB on the polar plot. I use XL, or you could do the math by hand, to normalize the other values. Simply subtract the recorded values from the peak value then plot it up on the polar plot. Below this video I have a link where you can download an image of a blank polar plot if you don't have one. Look guys, this is not a new trick, but perhaps if you didn't know about it, you can play around and experiment testing some of your antennas. It's also just fun to listen to your own signal on the other side of the earth. 73, this is Steve, V6WZ.